And Ron, we're back with another question from our members. It says, Ron, my question is, are the archangels, specifically Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, are they good angels or are they pretending to be good? I ask as I had asked Arch, Archangel Raphael to help me and at night during my dreams was approached by a being who said he was Archangel Raphael, but instead he attacked me. Can you please share your thoughts? Yes. Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm going to be very careful about this one. Yes, archangels are special. I th I think there's like twelve of them. Each archangel has a female opposite, um, so that they act like the twelve apostles when Jesus was on the earth. They all had uh, female cohorts. Let's put them that way. And the two of them together made a balanced uh, team. And then there were 12 of them, and, and Jesus and uh, Mary Magdalene were the 13th. And there's some magic in those, not magic, there's some significance in those, the way that those are numbered out. So uh, <clears throat> specifically, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, we hear about them oftentimes, mostly Michael. But Gabriel was the one in charge of, of talking to Mary and her cousin, um, um, Elizabeth, and told them about the children that they were going to have. So that's Gabriel. Uh, the problem that I'm having is, is I'm going to ask this question. Are you open to having to being attacked? Do you believe that you can be attacked? This is this belief system has a door to it. And if you believe that you can be attacked, then you've opened the door. But if you don't believe that you can be attacked and, and choose not to be attacked, then that is a choice by fulfilled by you closing the door to that uh, idea. Um, only those who, who have openness to being attacked can be attacked, especially in a dream state. You know, uh, I have um, a relationship with, with the Alliance and I have significant persons who are there. Um, Yeshua has been a major significant uh, contributor to my life, uh, especially in the last, uh, well, I'll say uh, a number of years. But uh, am I, can I be attacked? Uh, it's not necessarily being attacked, but I can be, uh, I can have uh, thoughts that are entered into my mind that can be considered be attacks, but I, I, it's what I do with it. What I think about it afterwards that I can level out the playing field and not participate in, in the negative aspects of it. Um, the Alliance is told, I, I, I have, I'm not going to say arguments, <laughs> I want to know everything. And they say, you, we can't tell you everything because it will subject you to attacks that you're not, that you have no control over. If we gave you the information, then you have a target. You are a target. And they will move in as quickly as they can to eliminate you. Now, I'm protected to a great extent, but I can, I'm on earth. My feet get dirty. I'm not an angel. Um, those are the kinds of things that if, you, if your feet get dirty, then you're part of third dimension. If they don't get dirty, then you're something different. But the point that I'm trying to say is what you do with the thoughts in your mind are the things that will create what you think about or that, that can happen to you. What is it that you focus on 
in, in your okay, I'm talking to the person who asked this question. What is there in your mind that you are focusing on where you're allowing these things to take place? And I'm saying, well, I and you're saying to me, well, I didn't do that. Well, you did. You did or it wouldn't happen. You are the one who's in charge of your life. Now, we don't realize that, but there's a propensity that we have to focus on things that perhaps we shouldn't be focusing on. And so you got to go back into your own life. What you focus on is what you're going to create. If you're allowing yourself in your focusing attention that things of a negative nature can happen to you, then you're going to have the experience of those kinds of things happening to you. Why? Because the universe, the universe who's fulfilling your your ask and it shall be given, seeking all the, is is only looks at what you focus on, and that's where they say they're saying they're observing you. Well, I I. I I didn't do that. Yes, you did. Well, how did how can you, you focused on it? You're focusing on things that bring these things out in your life. Now, were you when you were attacked? Is that a real bad experience for you? What do you think about that? What is it that you're focusing on when you think about that? Are you saying, "Well, that was just an experience." I'm still alive. I'm still working. I'm still living my life. And so what you think about that, then that's, that's can, you can cancel it out right now by just simply, I, I was just there for my experience. I had the experience and now I can move on. But if you have some judgment about it, well, I was attacked. There's, these angels or archangels and so forth are terrible. Well, is that the conclusion that you brought from that? Apparently from this, the question that you asked, you still have those ability, the ability that the Raphael and Gabriel and Michael have to attack you. And see, I don't, uh, I look at that and I, and I'm, I'm not trying to find fault with you. I'm just simply saying we are the ones who create the experiences of our life. And the only way that the heavens can help us is appear to what we are focusing on or to recognize what we are focusing on. You might be asking for something and then you say, well, I'm not worthy of that. Well, that you just canceled your ask. And so it's important for you to start controlling your life and your thought patterns. When something like this happens to you, it is not Michael, Raphael, or Gabriel, or anybody else. They're only responding to what you want in your life. Now, that's hard to say, and it's hard to understand, but I hope you realize you're blaming somebody else for the lack of ability to control your life by what you focus on. There's a solution to the problem. To focus on things that are loving. Focus on thoughts of uh, uh, being successful. What are we trying to do? We're trying to get rid of, uh, of the cabal. How do you get rid of the cabal? Stop thinking about them. Quit listening or thinking about things in the past that have caused tra trauma for you. Why do you think the cabal wants you to remember the Holocaust? Because you go back and you go through it again and you recreate the loosh. Loosh is the is a negative energy that they feed on. You're just recreating it. And how many thousands and millions of people create, recreate recreate the negative experience of the Holocaust. Why do you think the cabal wants us to do that? Why do you think the public wants us to do that? The public, the, the, the cabal, the government, whatever it is, the cabal wants you to remember those things. 
so that you can recreate that same louche for them and they just love it. They own the history. And when you think about all of the things in the past that are wrong and, 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 and you focus on that, then they just feed on that. Quit create, recreating stuff, the negative stuff in your life by thinking about things from the past that are traumatic. Just recreate the good things in your life. And you'll be avoid, you will avoid these kinds of experiences if indeed you have a negative feeling about them. You know, it, it, I get attacked, but I don't, I don't recognize it or care about it. I, it. It's an experience. It's hard to go through. Yeah. But it's just an experience. I'm fine. I can work through it. And uh, so, Understand that it's not Michael, Raphael, or Gabriel, or any other archangel. It's your fault. And they are not to blame because you create the experiences of your life. So if you'll, if you'll accept that, and it's very difficult to accept, I understand that. But if you don't accept it, you're going to recreate it again. Because you are the one that created those kinds of experiences. And there's going to be a lot of people who don't like me for saying that. Because it doesn't let Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel be the one in charge of your life. You are in charge. And you are the one that creates the experiences of your life. I hope that helps. Move on to the next question. What a wonderful answer to remind us that we are in charge to focus on our, the result we want. And we will be back with another question.